here today. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my first assignment and most of my crew is out with food poisoning. <laughs> I told them not to order sushi on a Monday. Everyone knows that's the leftovers from the weekend. <laughs> wow, I'm rambling. Hi, I'm Kelly Porter. <laughs> I'm Reggie's producer. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you don't mind, I am going to sit you down and uh, I'm gonna mic you up. How does that sound? Okay, great. We're gonna throw you right here. And uh, you know, <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm wearing a lot of hats today, um, uh, but not makeup and hair. You know why? Cause Dax, what's up Dax? Dax and I are vegan and uh, we didn't catch the same plague that the rest of the crew caught. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna need an audio level from you. So uh, yeah, just, mm? Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, cat, dog, penguin. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, da, 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 da. everything looks good. Reggie, it's all yours. Hey. <laughs> Oh, man, it's great to have you here. Back where it all started. Yeah, it's good to be back and to see a familiar face. You look great. Oh, come on, man. Look at you. You the one that look good. So listen, basically, today is going to be pretty straightforward. You've seen the show before. OK, well, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your life and career. It'll be fun reminiscing. And, and don't worry, OK? I, uh, I got your, uh, your agent's threatening texts, and the kid glove stays on today. <laughs> OK. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> Ho, ho, ho. I see you still got those all-pro reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, that's how it all started for me. You know, if memory serves, you didn't start out playing football back then. That's right. It's my first day here as a transfer student. Football kind of just found me. <laughs> now for the Beast de Renaissance. Your helmet. Got those fancy words from this French girl I met recently. Okay, then. Let's see what you can do. I don't know, coach. I haven't played since Pop Warner. Okay, football's just like music, kid. Once you learn how to play it, it never leaves your soul. Besides, if you're as half as good as you are in hockey, we're in great shape. Hey, Tommy, give him a ball, would you? We've already got a QB, coach. A darn good one based on the colleges that have already made me offers. And a modest one, apparently. Look, we still don't have any depth behind you. If we want to compete for state, it's always best to be prepared. All right, suit yourself. We got plenty of room on the bench anyway. Yeah. A little rough around the edges, but I definitely see some potential. What do you say we smooth out those edges at practice? Sounds good, coach. Good, good practice. Welcome to the team. Hey, thanks, man. 
All right, man, listen. I'm gonna be real with you. This ain't gym class, okay? This is my team. And as long as you understand that, we'll be fine. You got it? Find yourself a box, keep it clean. Seat's taken. Look, man, I ain't playing with you, bro. Don't sit beside me, all right? Yo, get out of here, bro. Captain of the team in the corner away from everyone? Shouldn't you be in the middle of the locker room, morale and all? Well, I'm just over here for some peace and quiet. I'd like to get my head clear before a game. But I can't really do that if guys like you keep bothering me. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just this whole recruitment thing, it's really stressing me out. Thought you had a ton of offers. I did, but they can disappear as quickly as they come in. Plus, if I'm not on my game at all times, I can pretty much kiss it all goodbye. I mean, no full ride to college and no shot at the NFL. NFL? That's a bit lofty, isn't it? Maybe, but I got a lot of people counting on me, so it's the NFL or bust. Well, if you're as good as advertised, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> yeah. You'll get a chance to see up close on Friday night. Who's that? That's Reggie Brown. He's uh, in charge of the school paper and the social media account. He's a pretty good kid, just, you know, a little annoying. Great, and here he comes. What's up, Reggie? <laughs> Tommy Matthews. The man, the myth, the legend. What's up, Reggie? Oh, maybe an exclusive for the paper? You know, winning me over with flattery will absolutely work every time. Okay, I got an exclusive for you. You ready? Okay, so, uh, so get this. You're, 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 you're really gonna love this. Okay, so today I was in the cafeteria. And you know how I usually have a chocolate shake at lunch, right? right. Okay, so today, this is crazy. I had a vanilla shake. That's crazy, right? I mean, vanilla. Yeah, well, Tommy, man, you gotta give me something I can use here. Anything, man. Well, how about a quote? Okay, Reggie, here's a quote. Tommy Matthews scores four touchdowns and leads his team to another victory. How about that? Okay, yeah, I'm sure I can make that work. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Hey, if you really want a quote, I can help you out. Who are you, exactly? Uh, I'm the new backup QB. Uh, backup QB? Yeah, I'm good. No, thanks. Uh, on second thought, I need something to report on, and it might be worthwhile for the fans to learn the new face of the team. Yeah? Yeah. Ask me anything. Okay, uh, first question. Which quarterback style would you say you emulate the most? Well, it's been a while since I played competitively, but back in the day, my game was closest to Russell Wilson. I'm always going to look to use my arm first and foremost, but if the opportunity presents itself, I can pull it down and make teams pay. All right. All right. Solid answer. So when out on the field, how would you describe your personality in the huddle? Well, I'm extremely competitive, and there's nothing I hate more than losing, so I'm the kind of guy that's gonna bring a win-at-all-cost type attitude to the team. Finally! That's something I can report on. Thanks, QB2. I'll see you out there Friday night. All right. Tommy. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have this bug that's going around. You don't look fine. You look sluggish. It's like you're not playing with any heart out there. Don't you dare talk to me about my heart. I've put everything I have into this. This game is my life. If you have so much heart, prove it. Because you're not showing any out there. 
Whoa. Whoa, hey, easy. Easy, man. I didn't mean to upset you. You're right. About what? About my lack of heart. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. No, it's my heart, man. I was born with a congenital heart defect. What does that mean, exactly? That means that my heart doesn't push blood through my body properly. Tommy, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I had a surgery when I was nine to repair it, but my doctor's saying I need another one. Tommy, you need to get help immediately. Listen, if word gets out about this, that's the end of my football career. Do you understand? Please, you can't tell anyone about this. This is serious. You can't afford to wait any longer. It's just fatigue at this point. I'll be fine. Okay, I just need to get through this season. Plus, I owe it to these guys to help them win a state championship. Fine. But I don't feel right agreeing to this. If it gets any worse, then I'm gonna have to tell Coach. Why, didn't let you take over? I don't think so. I'll be fine. All right, boys, bring it in. Town rivals. Tommy Matthews is just not playing like himself tonight, and that is the major storyline as we continue our right, play. There's going to be another play for you tonight. What? We need you to take off your helmet and take a bench. Coach, what do you mean? You're pulling me? After everything I've given to this team? I'm doing what's best for you and for the team. Please, take a seat. Coach, I don't know what he told you, but I'm fine, Coach. I I've got scouts here watching me tonight. You can't do this. Hey, hey, hey. Look, I need you to take it easy. We'll talk about this later in private. That's it. What'd you say, man? Well, let the trainers do their job. I know you're worried, but you got 52 other guys out there. I need you to focus. They are all counting on you. 52 guys? No sweat, coach. Do it. Good, because we're going to need you to ball out. That's not asking too much, of course. No, I got this. Was it the play calling? Mm. I had two whole weeks to digest everything. I'll be fine. What can go wrong? Great. Well, with your raw athleticism, you got this. Hope you're right. Whoa, you forgetting something? The helmet. The piece to Renaissance. The most important part. Come on, you got this. Yeah. You're right, coach. I got this. Yeah? Yeah, you got this. He so doesn't got this. Now, with just with one eye, with both of my eyes, all right? Keep doing good work, and I'll be in... Hey, uh... Grant Simmons, recruiting analyst over at RecruitsToWatch.com. Heck of a game at that tonight, nice son. Hey, uh, you ever think about your future in football? Where you might want to commit to? Not really. I'm just kind of having fun out there. Yeah, yeah, I see you out there having fun. Well, uh, look here, when you're ready, Give me a call, all right? We'd love to add you to our site. My man. The man of the hour. Man, you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot to prep for the playoffs. <sighs> but I'll tell you what. If you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Why, you really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. So, I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right, let's get started.
Wow, great. Okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? My biggest strength. Uh, just think of one of them. Any of them. Uh, I feel like my receivers would say I throw them a pretty good ball. You know, I got this touch pass that puts it right where it needs to be. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Well, Reg, I guess there's your exclusive. Need a word from my office. Right here, this is my favorite part. The spin move you do. Breaking that dude's ankles and the stiff arm, woo! Reminds me of my playing days, Samoan warrior style. <laughs> it's too bad you stepped out of bounds. You could have scored a touchdown. Well, there's no way he could have dodged. Tommy, how the heck have you been? <laughs> hey, Tommy, how you feeling, man? Good. Got a clean bill of health. I'm ready to get back out there. Come on in, have a seat. Didn't think you'd be back. Trust me, I tried transferring. Doesn't seem like any other schools want to accept a perceived health risk. But I've got a clearance for my doctor, coach. I'm ready to play. What do you think? I'm glad you're healthy, Tommy. And I know the guys would love to have you back and all, but this is sort of my team now. You know what would make you an even better quarterback? Me at receiver. Shoot, yeah. We'll work something out. Like you said, coach, you gotta do what's right for the team. It's the best news I've heard since my Aunt Lokalani's bore one best in show. I'm gonna get the playbook. We're gonna start drawing some stuff up. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! I know I'm not your favorite person in the world right now. You're not even in my top seven billion. <laughs> That's fair. Just know I did what I did to protect you, not to try and take everything that you worked for. Yeah, I can understand if you're angry with me, but... I'm gonna do everything I can to make it right. I'll tell you how I can make it right. The Midwest Prep Showcase, later the Central Hawks. What about it? Well, they're the best team in the country and it's a nationally televised game. That means every recruiter's gonna see it. So what do you want from me? I just want you to let me go out there and do my thing and show the recruiters what I can do. It's my last chance of getting an offer. Fine. But if it's not working out out there, then I gotta get the other guys involved. Trust me. You won't need to. Nation will collide here at Arrowhead Stadium when the Hawks take on the Tigers. Wait. It's... It's your... Yeah, rapper, producer, entrepreneur, Snoop Deal Double G. Please believe it, that's me. But hold up. Ain't you one half of them heartbreak boys? I'm a huge fan of yours. Nah, man, I'm a fan of yours. Check this out. If the coach and half the stadium knew what I was about to say, they'd try to run me out of this town, man. But let me tell you this. I've been following y'all's story for quite some time. And I'm pulling for y'all tonight. Wow. That's... That's amazing. Thank you so much. For sure, my brother. Now get out there and go do your thing. Snoop. You know Tommy Matthews? Tommy! Hey. Hey, man, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. I'm such a fan, man. Hey, likewise. Love your hard work, your dedication, and how you just put the team and put everything on your back, man. That's beautiful, man. It takes a whole lot to do what you did. Wow. Thanks, man. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better get out there and make it count, man. It's a whole lot of schools that's gonna be watching y'all tonight. And I got a feeling I'm gonna see y'all again. Good luck. Ball out. Will do. <laughs> Thanks, Snoop. For shizzle, Snoop. <laughs> Yo, you just met Snoop D-O-double-G. I know. That was cool. What? Let's go do this, man. <laughs> la dee da dee da This question is for both of you. What trait do you think would give you the edge at the next level? I 
I think my ability to stay in the pocket and get off accurate passes under pressure is something that will help at the next level. Let's just hope you have someone like me out there hauling in those passes for you, though. But seriously, though, the past two years have really put things into perspective for me, and thanks to this guy, I'm just fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go to college and further my football career. Well, okay, gang. I think that puts us in a great place to go ahead and find out where these two are going. All right, gents, who wants to go first? I want you to have the honors. It's the least I could do for all you've done for me. All right. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Wow. So the decision is made. Tell us, when it came down to it, what led to this choice? Well, there's been a lot of elite talent that have walked those halls, and I'd love to add my name to that story list. Plus, the opportunity to play for a legend like Coach Miller, it's too much of a draw. Yeah, he's a guy that's had a ton of success with the school, and I think I, I think there's a lot I can learn from him. All right. All right, Tommy. What you got for us? Let's see, who's it gonna be? <clears throat> oh. Whoa, Tommy, same question. Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, Batman needs his Robin and can't break up this dynamic duo. But in this case, More details rolling in, everybody, on today's crazy news. Coach Miller is stepping down from his illustrious college coaching career, and in his place, the school is promoting hotshot defensive coordinator, Red O'Brien. Now, Coach O'Brien has been all the rage for quite some time, sitting at the top of a ton of schools shortlist for head coaching gigs, but it sure looks like he's just going to stay put and take over the entire program. But what I really want to know is what it's going to mean for everyone's favorite dynamic duo, the Heartbreak Kids. I know you've both been sitting patiently for the past two years, waiting for your shot, so I made a decision. Neither one of you will be starting. Come on, coach. Give us a shot. How many of those do you guys have? Now, as I was saying, Neither of you will be starting, but both of you will be playing. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not switching positions. I'm not asking you to switch positions. You both get reps at QB. This is a defense first team now, so I don't need your heartbreak kids nonsense. All I need is for one of you to manage things and make sure the offense doesn't give the game away, because my defense certainly won't. Understand? But you've seen what we did in high school. I don't care what the heartbreak kids did two years ago, son. I'm more concerned what you can do now in college and winning a lot more at ease. So I'm gonna rotate you guys. I'm gonna stick with the hot hand until I see what I can get out of one of you. And you'll start the first half. If you do well enough, you'll stay in. If not, we'll see what Tommy's got. But you can't be serious. You two are competitors, right? Well, that's how you're gonna have to approach this as a competition. Now go on, get out of here.
So things got off to a solid start. But after several weeks, you and Tommy had rotated quite a bit. Reminiscent of Michigan when Tom Brady and Drew Henson split snaps. That had to be frustrating for you both. Some huge Wake up. To get to, and none more what are these dishes doing at my feet? Because it's time for you to start cleaning up your crap. Uh, these dishes have been lying in the sink for almost two weeks. I mean, look at this place. It's a disaster. You're leaving everything laying around. It's ridiculous. Who crawled up your button died? You. Gross. Hey, get up, man. I want to watch some TV. You've been laying out here all morning. What's got you two all riled up? <sighs> Just turn up the volume, would you? The Heartbreak Kids have gone from sensational dynamic duo to a sudden two-headed monster. And boy, this is an ugly one. Hey, I thought I played pretty good out there. This team still has not found its identity, and I know that Coach O'Brien claims that his two-quarterback system is matchup-based, but I gotta tell you, it sure looks like he still doesn't have a clue what's going on. As Coach Madden famously once said, if you've got two quarterbacks, you've got none. And right now, I gotta tell you, man, Coach O'Brien's indecisiveness with the most important position on the team is only gonna lead to problems on the field. The answer is simple. Just start me. That would make the situation worse. I mean, the team plays better when I'm on the field. Everybody knows that. If I could just get into a rhythm, I'd be fine. Last thing I need is to be worrying about you breathing down my neck if I make one mistake. Well, you better believe it that I'll be there when you do. Okay, I see what's going on here, guys. I don't know what made you follow me here and try to win back your old position. I mean, you could have just kept the heartbreak kids going, or you could have went your own route on another team, but you decided to, what, come here and punish me? Is that it? What are you talking about? You're the one who showed up and stole what was mine in the first place, okay? I'm supposed to be Batman, you're Robin. Oh, this whole thing again? <laughs> Are you dumb? I didn't take anything from you. Your body took it from you. Uh, look, Tommy, I'm sorry. No. I'm just gonna leave. I don't know what his problem is. You gotta go talk to him, man. Go clear the air. He's the one with the problem. Look, if he wants to talk, he can, he can come find me. <sighs> Jumping fiddlesticks. You all right? I'll be fine. I was you last week. I know exactly what you're going through. You didn't have to sit through this championship game, though. No, but I did sit out our first state title game. It wasn't easy to do. For all I know, this could be my only shot at it. Then I guess we'll just have to do this all over again next season, huh? Good luck out there tonight. Thanks. Who rained on your parade, little Miss Sunshine? I am not in the mood for this right now. It's because you're not playing, I take it. Like I haven't had a bad enough day already. Now I have to deal with you. I know you're upset. But that dude Tommy's your brother. And brothers should always have each other's backs. And wipe that sour puss look off your face. It's game time. Okay, Sean? Yeah. Yeah, Coach, I, I just... Tommy. You all right, Tommy? We need some help over here! Hurry! You got my back, right? Of course. Always. Then go out there and finish this thing. Show the world who you are. You're the guy who's gonna lead this team to victory. 
Are you gonna be remembered as the guy who got caught up in the moment and let it all slip away? I know you're worried about Tommy. Sure, we all are. But this is your one moment. Now get after it, son. Get some. Tommy's injury certainly was a setback. But the bond that these two kids have is really strong. And although only one of the heartbreak kids was out there in the second half, Tommy's spirit was with him, and I believe... You hear from Mr. Matthews? The hoodie gave it away. He's stable. But we're only allowing family to go back right now. <laughs> That's great. Because he's my brother. I'm proud of what he's accomplished this season. I think there's only one individual on everyone's mind tonight. This one's for my brother, Tommy Matthews. You Tommy. think that's something? <laughs> I should see it in person. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool. Uh, uh. Oh, thanks so much for coming and bringing this. You kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for anything. Coaching the guys in their best. They waited as long as they could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so they had to catch their flights back. I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kid, so I stay behind, make sure you were all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. Hey, they did leave you the trophy. They wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. How you feeling, buddy? <sighs> like a sack of crap. It's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. <laughs> hey, man. Promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year and make it win the championship together. Next year? You know I will, brother. Together. <clears throat> Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. Did she say what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Please. <laughs> hey, seriously. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? <laughs> yeah. Is that him? He's an hour early. Coach? Don't look too disappointed. No, no. I was just suspecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No. Give me a minute. Okay, Coach. Actually, I'm, uh... I'm here to talk to you about next season. Yeah, sure, talk away. It was, uh, it was something you said at the, uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's... Something good, I hope? Well, it was something you said about treat your men like your beloved sons and I'll fill you into the deepest valley. And that really got me. It got me thinking about the way I treat you boys, and, and I wasn't being fair to you, and Tommy, for that matter, or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. Tommy's gonna be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even gonna be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's gonna be right as rain. I just don't understand. 
I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. But I stand firmly behind it because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well, what does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life, and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft, and based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round. But realistically, you're looking at a late-round selection, if at all. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest with you from this moment forward. I'm giving it to you as I would my own beloved son. And my other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much roticism to waste sitting on the bench. The talent is a true gift. And it's one that I'm gonna give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. <laughs> well, Tommy's already tried recruiting me to come back so we can win the title together. Does that mean you're in? Plus, he did switch positions once, and you see how well that worked out for him. I guess I can try it too. The heartbreak kids are back, baby. <laughs> Was he eavesdropping? <laughs> Always. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. Cupcake! It wasn't an easy decision at the time, but I don't regret it for a second. Of course, everyone's first thought was, where am I gonna play? It felt good, telling everyone I was sticking around and Tommy and I were gonna play together. The next question was, did it actually work out? Pretty drastic turn of events for Coach O'Brien's program. I mean, the defensive pantry has been pretty much left dry with most of that elite unit having bolted for the NFL. But today, Coach O'Brien revealed a new strategy, and I think it's kind of brilliant. Get both heartbreak kids on the field at the same time. I mean, it's really... A brilliant move here's the deal you got to get all of your talented players on the field at once certainly if they're going to rely on the offense for a change to be the strength of this team if they're planning on making another run at it I gotta say i was surprised with the way you guys played that season and especially considering you switched positions plus coach o'brien really came into his own leading you guys to the verge of the playoff want to talk about a story that's making the rounds and that's the heartbreak kids 
and their indelible bond once again taking college football center stage at the championship game later on tonight it has been truly amazing and truly inspirational to watch this amazing journey that these kids have been on from start to finish to this point showing off their character their grit their determination their heart has been on full display for all of us to behold and i normally don't say this but i for one will be a heartbreak kid in spirit as they take the field in this big game tonight hey you know it was really great what you did what do you mean i know you could have gone to the draft last year but instead you risked everything to come back here and and help us it means a lot to me man hey We've been through it all together, man. You know I love you like a brother. <laughs> so, are you feeling thankful enough to finally admit that I'm Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's not get carried away now. But hey, I will admit, you're no Robin. Okay. <laughs> well, at least there's that. Superman. Soups. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can work with that. Yeah, you know, he's Batman's equal, his biggest rival. And even though they battle it out from time to time, they always wind up back as close friends. I can definitely work with that. <laughs> but hey, just in case you ever go stepping out of line, you should know that I always keep an extra thing of kryptonite on me at all times. You might need that in the NFL <laughs> against me. No cap. <laughs> Well, that was certainly a college career for the ages. And uh, it was my honor to be there with you guys through that part of your journey. And I just want to thank you for taking us through that. Now, we're closing in on another critical chapter, the NFL Combine. So, the NFL Combine. I spent so much time preparing for it, but some things you can't ever really say you're ready for. That's how the week felt to me. I walked away from the press conference feeling a buzz. I said a lot of things, but will my performance back it up? No, 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 no. No, this cannot be happening. Oh, man, okay. Think. It's the last place you looked at him. If you knew where you last saw him, they wouldn't be lost now, would they? Yeah, thanks. A lot of help you are. Oh! Oh, you... You're rich. Say it with me now. Eisen. Right, Eisen. You're a rich Eisen. Big fan. <laughs> I'm gonna be the... The laughing stock of your next broadcast, aren't I? Depends. You gonna run the 40 barefoot? I may have a little fun with you, but don't worry. I won't make you a running joke, huh? Come on. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> uh, maybe not your best, but I I'll tell you what. You let me wear your cleats, I'll laugh at any joke you have. I mean, seriously, I'm desperate. Try them on. See if they fit. What's the verdict? Um, perfect fit, but honestly, and I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but they're a little damp. 
They're like really damp. Did you go swimming in these? Thought you said you were a fan. If you were, then you'd know I just ran my annual Run Rich Run 40 for charity. Ah, <sighs> right. All right, how'd it go? Let's just say my days of keeping up with Saquon Barkley are behind me. Maybe you'll fare better than I did out there. What was your time? 5.98, baby. <laughs> well, I can't do any worse. I've seen statues move faster than that. All right, well, I want you to go out there and post a time of at least 4.6. Think you could swing that? Of course, 4.6, I can do that barefoot. That sounds like a challenge to me. Less challenging now that I don't have to do it barefoot, thanks to you and your cleats. Now that is what I like to hear. You're gonna be helping those kids at St. Jude more than you know. Go get them, champ. Hope those shoes bring you good luck and an even better 40 time. <laughs> thanks again, man. Whew. Yep, I feel it. Welcome to the 2020 NFL Draft. Sure, the experts have done 2.7 million mock drafts, but you can toss those babies out the window. Welcome back to the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Hey, this is the offensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears. How are you feeling right now? Oh, everything's great, Coach. Well, look, son, we've been following you for quite some time, and we believe you could be an integral part of this team. Thank you, sir. Thank you so, so much. I can't tell you how much this means to me. And I'm ready to do whatever it takes to show you I'm worth your pick. <laughs> I know you will. I'll expect you to show up ready, OK? That'll be the first one there. Can't wait. And I'm just getting confirmation that the pick is in. Let's take it to the podium to see who the next pick in the draft is going to be. What a phenomenal pick. This kid has shown some elite abilities on the field. He's a freak athlete, totally capable of taking over a game in the right system. 